What's up guys, I'm Pede Beats and in this video we're going to make a crazy hard beat for artists like Nardo Week and this guy and it's going to be really easy so let's get into it. I just loaded up FL and the first thing that we need to do is set the BPM to 160, 165 because it's perfect for these crazy hard beats and I was thinking about starting with a piano so I downloaded this creepy piano tree I want something more plucky Ooh, wait, wait, this one is crazy So let's make something like that Then we can go here And then up again Oh, that's crazy But there is too much delay That's crazy as you can see it's really easy to make this type of melodies as always you just need to play around with these two notes that are only one semitone apart to create a lot of tension and after making something like this we need to add some effects on it to make it sound more unique because right now it's kinda generic so let's add an EQ okay then let's try to add that time on this maybe that's perfect for Nardo man yeah Man, that's crazy. I want to add on this something like a beat crusher. So I downloaded this free best E called the pedals. Yeah, let's try to use this crusher. Yeah. I love the sound of the crusher, man. Then we need to remove some frequencies that are clashing. Yeah, now it's good, man. Okay, now that we have something like this, we can keep it because I really like it. But I think I'm going to render it because I want to try to flip it and see if we can come up with something crazy. So as always, let's try to stretch it. Okay, that's something. We can pitch it up. Okay. And uh, let's try to add the portal on this. Oh, this one is crazy, man. Okay, as always, Portal is messing up the start time of the sample, so we can render like 5 bars of it, because we need to cut this off. Let's try to layer it with the first melody that we made. But it is taking up so much space, man. So let's add an EQ on this. Let's see how it sounds if we pitch it up again. Yeah. So we already have some variation that we can use for the arrangement by just making a melody. Okay, now it's time to add a counter melody on this, man. Because we will need that variation later. So I will go in my Nebula Multi-Kit because it's been a while since I don't use it. Let's try the Bell 47. Yeah. And here we could go down. Whoa. Now we can add some effects on this too. Yeah, let's put this on the left. I don't think it means anything else, man. I like the sound. Okay, I really like that, man. But we need to blend these instruments together. And the best way to do that in these beats is by adding a piano. And since we are here, let's use this deep piano. Yeah, man, that's crazy. Let's try to duplicate this. Yeah, that's hard. Oh, and by the way, guys, the sounds that I use in this video are from the Nebula Multi Kit that is currently at a really low price for the end of summer discount. So if you want to check it out, the link is in the description. But I want it to stop right here because probably here with the 808, we're going to create some variation and I don't want it to clash with the bass notes. Yeah, now it's so much better, man. Yeah, if you don't want to add bass notes because they are kinda overused, I will try to add other low instruments, like a brass or a dark pad. Now, I really like this and we could just add some crazy drums on this, honestly, but it's missing that darkness that we have in Nardo's beats. So let's open labs because here we have some crazy strings, man. I remember this wobbly sounds like good. So let's try to use the fifth note of the scale, that is F sharp in this case.
Yeah, we don't need to overcomplicate this. These three notes are really adding that darkness that we need. I want to add a vocal too on this, man. That's crazy, man. But here we need to change it up. Okay, it's in the background, but I like that, man. So we need to add some effects on them too. Let's add some reverb, just to blend them a bit. And so I think that's it. Yeah, man, that's crazy. Yeah, man, now it's time to arrange this melody. Because in this way, we can see if we have no variation and all the stuff. So I want to start with the piano and the main melody. Nothing crazy. And this will be the drop. Yeah, man. Then on the second part, you can pitch down the texture and then have the choir, maybe. Okay, now for the verse, we could keep the main melody. But I feel like after some time, it's kinda boring. And I want to try to have only the texture, actually. Here the artist has so much space. Yeah, let's have also the violin. Yeah man, now it's time to add some crazy drums on this. Let's use the drums from the Cosmic. And let's start with a snare. That we can use as a clap. In A sharp sounds so good. Remember guys to play around also with the pitch of your drums because that's actually important in the overall sound of the beat. So let's keep the clap simple like this and let's add the hat. I like to use these ones. Yeah. And now we can add some crazy rolls. In this type of beats I use one third step rolls. They are faster and I like that. Okay, let's just copy this over. Let's make this draw longer. Now we can just duplicate them and click Alt R to randomize the pen and the velocity and the pitch a bit too. And maybe at the end, as always, we can use triplets because they're going to make it sound way harder, man. I don't know why, but I love this vocal. Now let's add the head, but I don't like the teeth at the start. So let's make the attack higher a bit. Yeah, three already works and let's change the pen of them. Yeah. Let's just copy this over. That's hard. Let's add a bell too on this, cause this is going to create that dark vibe. Yeah, let's just keep one hit and add some effects. And now it's finally time for the 808. Let's use the spins as always. I like that, but I feel like the 808 isn't hitting. So I want to try to render maybe everything. So let's speed it up for semitones. Now we're talking. And here, let's add a slide. Or maybe we can do something like this. Yeah, yeah. And here we can do the Nardo classic, so we can go to the 6th note, 5th, and then 3rd and 2nd. And here we need to use triplets. Ooh, the verse is crazy, man. So a trick that I use to make the drop way harder is just to create a pitch automation right before it. So we can just do something like this. And let's see how it sounds. Yeah, man. So let's create another automation, maybe. 
okay? <laughs>